Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay Nobles and I'm here on Inside Look by Brooks. How are you doing today? Good, how are you Lindsay? <laughs> I'm doing good, I have a couple of questions for you. So the first one is tell us a little bit about the history of Brooks Law Group. So Brooks Law Group started back in 1992. I, I graduated from law school in 1986 and worked with another law firm for about five years. Decided to leave and open my own shop and I had just myself and one assistant. Today, we have grown from one attorney to eight attorneys, from one staff to 29 staff. So we've grown and I, we have offices in Tampa, Lakeland, Winter Haven, and Auburn. Day. Great, now what services can you provide to the fans? So we are an all injuries law firm. And what that means is if any of your viewers are ever injured by the negligence of somebody else, then um, we would be the type of lawyers that they could come see us and talk to us about whether we could help them recover for that injury. And one thing that's unique about us is that we don't require money up front for them to see us. We work on a contingency basis. So if someone is injured, unless we produce and get money for them, they don't have to pay us. Great. Now, what made you decide to partner with the Tropics? So uh, your director of business development, Ian Hunter, uh, and I connected, and he started giving me a little background about the ownership of the Tropics. And when I learned it was Dr. Panos Icovitas at the Bond Clinic, um, I know of Dr. Icovitas' reputation, and Bond Clinic has a great reputation here in this town. And I was also excited about the fact that soccer is a new and upcoming sport in America, and, you know, so you combine those two factors. I thought it would be a great opportunity to partner with you guys. Mm -hmm. Now we are also joined with Freddie. Freddie, as captain and assistant coach, what are some of your responsibilities with the team? Yes, as a captain and assistant coach, I need to make sure that uh, everybody's focused throughout the season. Uh, it seems like it's a short season, but four or five months of having games pretty much every weekend, people can lose focus very quickly. So I have to make sure that uh, the players, especially, are always think about their, the goals we set for this year and working hard to make that happen for our fans and for, for, for ourselves as well. Mm -hmm. As we approach the end of the season, what is the game plan and mentality going into these important final matchups? Yes, the game plan is to win games. We want to win games, we want to be in the playoffs, mm -hmm. and we have to keep our professional mentality. We have to, to keep trying to do at least the, the right things on the field and off the field. I think we've been doing well this year. It's only the second year of the club. Uh, the club is very young. If you put uh, both seasons together, we've been together for, what, eight months playing together. So it's still a lot ahead of us, but uh, we have to make sure that we stay focused and stay uh, professional to make everything happen in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. What has been some of the highs and lows of this season? One of the highs, highest points of this season has been that we can score a lot of goals. We have a lot of firepower, we have good players that can produce for, for the team on the field. Even other teams in the league started acknowledging more on the Florida Tropics in our second year only. And the lows is that we have a lot of players with not much experience. They've been playing the league for the first year, second year, or even third year. Mm -hmm. And uh, this game is a fast game, it's a lot of details, and even though players have been playing soccer for all their lives, uh, indoor soccer is a different game, so it takes time to learn the game, to be, to be very successful on the field as a player, individually, and as a team, so, so that's, that takes a big part of it. Who is our toughest opponent that we've yet to face? Yes, the toughest opponent that we're going to face coming up now, we're going to play against the San Diego Soccers. It's a very well-known franchise in the league. They've been out there for over 20 years, if I'm not mistaken. So that's going to be a tough, tough opponent to play them in two weeks at home. But also have all the, all the important games. Harrisburg coming up next weekend. Not this weekend, the next weekend. And we need all our fans to be there to support us and, and make sure they, they can push us to win these next three home games. That are very important for us in order to make the playoffs. Right now, speaking of those three home games, how do you think the season and those upcoming games will pan out? If we can stay focused, if we can do what we're capable of, capable of, we're going to be able to, to make the playoffs this year. Only the second year of, of, of this organization. It's not going to be easy because the other teams uh, are, are tough opponents. 
clubs that have been in the league for many years. And we have to, to be realistic as well, knowing that being together just for a couple months since last year, this test is going to be really hard to do, but I think it's possible. Uh, we have a great fan base here. We have a lot of people in the community that help us, including Mr. Brooks, uh, supporting the team. So that's important for us, and we're going to give everything we have in order to try to make it the playoffs this year. Do you have any final thoughts to the community on why they should come out and support the Tropics in their last three home games? Yes, they have to come out because it's very exciting. It's very fun. Uh, the whole family can come with the kids, wives, everybody can come and have fun in the game. Uh, we need the, to have a sellout crowd these games to push us and help us win these games. So come, you're going to like it. I, I can guarantee you that you're going to come out and want to come back again. Great. Well, thank you. Mr. Brooks, do you have any questions for Freddie? Thank you, Lindsay. Yes. Uh, it's, you know, Freddie, thank you for coming. You're My the pleasure. first real professional soccer player <laughs> I've ever met. So this is a true pleasure for me. So, you know, we, we were talking beforehand, and it's interesting. Throughout the world, soccer is known as football. But here in America, it's known as soccer. And I learned from some of the guys that came over with you today that it used to be called associated football, and they took the SOC from associated and called it soccer. So that, that was a little tidbit of information I learned today <laughs> about why it's called soccer. But, you know, it seems natural that it should be called football because it involves your foot and a ball, whereas American football is mainly passing and running and carrying the ball. So I think we kind of got the names mixed up. <laughs> but um, so, you know, I don't know much about soccer. What I learned today is that the, the inside soccer that you guys play is a lot faster and more exciting to watch than the outside soccer that we may have seen on TV. Is that is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, outdoor soccer, I've mm -hmm. also played outdoor soccer. I'm familiar and uh, sometimes can be a little bit boring because not as, as much action. Whereas the indoor soccer that we play is very similar to hockey. It's a lot of action. The ball doesn't stop. We use the walls. Uh, it's a lot of goals, a lot of, uh, a lot of action. So that's uh, the big plus. For us. And, and is scoring usually higher in an indoor game than an outdoor game? Yes. Uh, I would say an average would score between five and ten goals. And hopefully the other team doesn't score as much. But uh, yes, it's just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a lot so, longer. <laughs> so when I first became associated with you guys, I was, um, you know, I had no idea that you guys were basically in a national league. I mean, you play from cities across the country, correct? Yes. Who are some of the teams? What cities do you play? So this is the major arena soccer league. It's the highest indoor professional soccer in North America. We have teams in Mexico. There's teams coming from Canada next year in Toronto, for example. There's a team in Monterey. Mexico is very successful. There's a team in San Diego. Uh, we have teams in Baltimore, Harrisburg, uh, Syracuse. Also teams in Dallas. All over the country, Chicago. So isn't that something that we have this team in Lakeland, Florida. So, um, you know, I can't wait to come see you guys play because I've heard the games are absolutely exciting. Um, so thank you so much for joining us today and kind of educating me a little bit about the background of soccer. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. We appreciate that. Absolutely. Now, do you have any final comments to give to the Tropics fans? To the Tropics fans, um, if you haven't gone to see a game, go because I heard it is exciting to watch. I know I've been to hockey and I love hockey in person because it's so fast. So to hear Freddie talk about how fast paced indoor soccer is, I can't wait to go. So I've heard that the games are great. So I'll leave it at that. All right. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Guys. Okay. Thanks for joining us on today's inside look by Brooks. We'll be back next Friday at three o'clock. Thank you.